Hey, what is up, YouTube? I'm TechFnack9 from AndrewRoots.com, right there, AndrewRoots.com, with Paranoid Andrew running on 4.2.2 Android version Jelly Bean for your Galaxy Nexus GSM, Verizon, and Sprint. So, all three Galaxy Nexus devices, it's here, right there. Uh, links down below if you want to get it right now. Go ahead and grab it right now and keep watching this video. <laughs> but anyway, let's go in settings, of course, right? Oh, right there. And settings. And you can see already, you can notice it's already in Panoid Android version um, mode. It comes default by this, um, for settings at least. Um, just keep that in mind. But anyway, we're going to go to About Phone. And right there, as you can see, running and running, uh, uh, running on Android version uh, version 4.2.2. Let's go keep tapping that. And you got Android version 4.2.2 right there, which is awesome. So it's running on the latest Android version, if I didn't mention that earlier. Panoid Android version right there, 3.10. So 3.10 right there. That's the latest one. Uh, one, <laughs> but anyway, um, you got the usual, you know, look for Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, um, more settings, data usage, all that. And once you go into customization, right here, uh, the section right here, you got themes, lock screen, toolbars, and hybrid properties. So my favorite part about it, this is hybrid properties. So let's go ahead. And right here is really, really cool. I like this part. So you got Paranoid Android colors, which we'll get into in just a little bit. You, you can change your um, phone back to stock UI, which is default, like once, just like you got it from uh, the store or factory reset or, you know, stock ROM. Uh, phablet UI, that's phone and tablet. Tablet UI, and you got three tablet UIs, which is different on uh, PPIs and a little bit tweak settings for each one. So in this case, we are running on phablet, I do believe. Yes, we are running on phablet. As you can see right there, the notifications are smaller and the settings, when you do go into settings, they are smaller like a... Uh, tablet but it's still phablet mode because it's on top and not on the bottom as you can see the navigation keys are smaller too if you didn't notice that earlier which is really nice I like it makes your screen and your phone feel a lot bigger even though the screen is gray you know the size is gray and they're making it bigger which is nice and now paranoid Android colors uh, which is really nice I like it so as you can see you got the colors right there um, launcher Google Play Store messaging talk and Google search and now whenever you do enter into that specific app, the colors actually do change. Your navigation colors change and the status bar colors do change. So I'm actually going to be applying this and rebooting my device. And then we'll go ahead and take a look at the uh, changes that it made on my phone. Alright, so we are back. It is booted up. All the changes have been applied. And now let's go ahead and go into Play Store. And you can see all the colors have changed. The navigation bar has changed to orange, which is really nice. Um, the Wi-Fi, the battery, and the... Um, uh, signal the phone signal they change and the clock they change to to orange which is really cool so that's just a basic look at what it does let's go into uh, messaging I believe it turns to green if I am right so this one alright so the bottom navigations didn't change at all but as you can see the status bar right there if I actually zoom in so as you can see right there my the status bar navigations they change to green on um, the navigation bars on the bottom I can focus that right there. There you go. You can get a little better look at that. Um, right there, they did change the same. They did stay the same, but the um, it did change green right there. So this does do it for a couple of apps, which I really like. It, you can't really customize which apps it can do and all that, or the colors, as far as I know. But as far as I know, it's really cool. I really like it, and it's awesome either way. All right. So that was a look at Panorama Android colors. Let's go back into settings, maybe one more time, and we'll take a look at some other things. So you, let's go back in customization section, and we really went to hybrid properties. You know, we saw a couple of these things. You know, Paranoid Android Color, Stock UI. We saw a little bit of that. So let's go back and let's go into toolbars. And here you can do a quick pull down if you want to do that. Uh, you can limit the amount of no notifications if you want. Do not disturb. Split menu. Trigger area, which is really nice. Pie, which I showed you in earlier videos. If you didn't catch that, um, just search on my channel. Um, I know um, Carbon ROM for Galaxy Nexus does have Pie. So if you want a more in-depth look at that, um, go and look at uh, Carbon ROM. I do show a de demonstration on how Pi does work on Galaxy Nexus. I'm not going to be repeating, my, be re bleh, repetitive on each video, so I'm not going to be showing that. Even though Paranoid Android did come up with this idea, and I do believe they're the sole creator of um, Pi Control, as far as I know. Uh, don't uh, quote me on that. Just keep in mind. Um, but you got Pi size and all that. You know, you can change the location. Let's go into lock screen, and here you can do allow rotation. So if we enable that, and we do go, you can rotate it. There you go, so that's awesome, I like that. And if you're wondering what wallpaper this is, it did come stock, or not stock, I did apply it after um, Paranoid Android was installed. 
So this is considered a paranoid Android wallpaper that comes um, with this um, app or this ROM. I'm sorry. So you have home screen widgets if you want to do that. Maximize, uh, maximize widgets, shortcuts, and a lot of great stuff. Volume rockers, so you can actually use your volume up and down to um, switch off or change the music too, which is awesome. So that's a basic look at Paranoid Android for your Galaxy Nexus GSM, Verizon, and Sprint. If you did enjoy this, please hit that like button and subscribe button in the bottom left hand corner. And I'll check you next time. Link down below to the ROM. And don't forget to connect with me through Twitter, Facebook, and Google+. Plus. All links down below, the ROM down below. Everything that you need is down below. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.